Hi, I'm Karen Rice and welcome to my watercolour YouTube channel. I'm going to be painting a poppy and I'm going to be using just three colours. I'm also going to be sharing with you lots of tips and techniques to create this gorgeous poppy. And I hope this tutorial will inspire you to have a go at painting this poppy. Here is the gorgeous reference photograph. A link for this can be found in the description below. This is a list of the materials I'll be using in this tutorial and a full list can be found in the description below along with Amazon and Jackson's Art Supplies links if you'd like to purchase any of these materials. So shall we get started? I've drawn my picture with an HB pencil onto the 300 grams cold pressed surface. A drawing template for this poppy is available on the Patreon membership along with longer tutorials with lots more voiceovers, lots more tips and techniques. Just click the link in the top right hand corner and it will give you more details about the membership. Just wetting the surface of the poppy with some cold water and now dropping in some Pyrrol red, but you could use cadmium red or Windsor red. And I'm just dropping it in and just letting the paint do the work. So the surface is quite wet and I'm using my size six brush just to maneuver this paint around. Just enjoy it, it's lovely. I'm just actually adding a little bit of the Hansa Yellow Light to this red wash, just to create a little bit of warmer, lighter reds. So it's almost like a little bit of an orangey tinge there. And I just wanted to create, it's almost like the sunlight's coming through those very thin, papery petals. And I'm just gonna continue on dropping in this paint, wet in wet. I've thickened up the paint slightly and I'm just dripping this sort of slightly a creamier paint into the edges because I want the edges to really look sharp when it dries. So I'm just going around now with my size two brush, putting a little bit more of this stronger paint. As you can see here, it's quite creamy and just enjoy it, you know, just sort of see what happens. This is what watercolor is all about. It's magical. This is why I love watercolour so much because you can use all these techniques to create different effects. I'm using quite thick creamy Pyrrol Red and I'm painting with my size 6 brush damp into damp so these marks remain, they don't sort of spread and mix with other colours and I'm actually using um, a plastic card that I cut up, I'm using the corner of it and I'm sort of scratching into the surface of the paper to make lovely veins and marks on the petals. But less is more, so don't get too carried away with this technique. What I'm doing now is I'm painting the stem wet into wet using the yellow and the blue, just dropping in a very light green. Doing the same here with the seed head, working light to dark, so putting all my light washes on to begin with, and then just dropping in wet into wet a slightly darker green really nice effect and I'm using the plastic card again just to pull out some of that wet paint so you've got all those little sort of furry bits on the edges of the stem that catches the light I thought that was quite a nice little thing to do there and I'm just sort of doing the same thing on the stem for the seed head I've used a mixture of the red the yellow and the blue very watered down to create this quite neutral color for the seed head there I painted that wet on dry 
I've allowed my painting to dry naturally because I wanted the water and the paint to do some magical stuff and if you look there there's some backgrounds and things like that and I thought that would be great for the poppy. What I'm doing now is I'm using my size 6 brush and I'm painting wet on dry just using the Pyrrol Red slightly thicker but you still want it watery enough that it's going to move. You saw what I did there, I rinsed my brush, took the excess water on the kitchen towel and now I'm just softening and blending that colour that I put on this area. Because if you look at the reference photograph, there's a bit of shadow there. So I'm actually diluting and softening the bottom bit of that petal so it looks like the lights caught it and the top bit, it's darker. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start putting on paint, wet on dry, and then softening and blending with my size six brush using clean water to blend. And you get a lovely soft edge there and a subtle shadow colour that you get in the poppies. Remember, we're building up tonal values, light to so this is our next tonal range. Remember also to keep those light areas so don't put all of this colour all over because you'll lose your light. So really as you can see what I'm doing there, that top bit of the poppy, I'm just using water to blend so I can still keep the light on that petal. It's only when it goes down to meet another petal it gets darker. I've just mixed up the yellow, the blue and the red, very watered down to paint that centre colour of the poppy and then mixed up some very creamy red and the blue to paint the darks in the centre of the poppy. I'm painting this wet on dry using my size 6 brush. I'm just painting around the edge of that poppy leaf there and putting a little bit more dark in the center. And it really, pardon me for saying this, but it really pops the poppy out just by creating all this lovely dark in the center. I've dried off my poppy again and I'm just putting some marks now on the petals. So as you can see, I've been working light to dark, darks and details towards the end. So I'm just painting those very gently onto the surface of the petals. And now I'm just building up a little bit of dark now in these sort of center petals here, just to really kind of make the poppy look more 3D by using shadows like this. But I'm still just using the red on its own. And now I'm just blending with my brush to get that lovely soft edge and to get a bit more light on the edge of those petals.
I'm just putting a little bit more dark now on the seed head using my size 6 brush wet on dry that's the blue with a touch of red with a touch of yellow just to create some stronger darks and details I'm just sort of rinsing my brush there took the excess water off on my kitchen towel and I'm just softening those marks I just wanted to put a little tiny bit more detail on there just to finish off that seed head there I'm putting a touch more dark now on this stem using my size 6 brush and I'm just putting some markings on the petals as well using the size 2 brush wet on dry. finish off now with a bit of spattering so I'm actually masked out the poppy and I'm spattering it with some of the blue to create some texture but I just get a bit carried away when I start spattering so I'm using a little bit of green around the stems and the seed head and a touch of red around the poppy itself and it just kind of gives it a little bit of sparkle and it always stops me from fiddling so I've just put a touch more in the center and I think I'll leave it there for now. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you've enjoyed it and that it has inspired you to have a go at painting this gorgeous poppy. If you have any comments or questions about this tutorial, please put them in the comments section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get updates of my latest videos. Thank you again for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.